Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to our permanent break challenge and the insane challenge. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. This is done on the professional difficulty, so keep that in mind. Uh, so from the start, we, we don't need any special equipment, that's the reason why I didn't pop it up on the screen. But all you're going to need is your coins anyway, that's the only thing you'll need for this. So, for what we have to do now is sneak up to the, uh, the actual auction party itself. Um, I've chose to use the Colorado suit with the hat. I unlocked this during an elusive target, so uh, all we need to do is, you can wear any suit you want to, it doesn't matter, but I thought I'd try this because it looked pretty goofy in Paris, I've got to admit. So we're going to circle around this area over here because there's cameras and we're not really going to worry too much about them, but if you're in a trespassing area you can get spotted just like you've been spotted by a guard. But uh, if you're in a non-trespassing area, you don't need to worry about that. But from, from, from in it, when we're in a trespassing area, you do. So there's a guard at the end there, so we need to watch out for him. We're going to wait for him to move out of the way. Watch out for the cameras as well, waiting for them to turn away. And then we're going to you just crouch, walk, stay close to the wall. And there's going to be a bodyguard just, just over there. Now we're going to wait for him just behind here. He, he breaking that line of sight, he can't see you. So he's going to turn left and he's going to he's going to walk away, and that's when we're going to climb up the pipe. You should have no problems getting up the pipe after that. Once you've climbed all the way up the top, we can uh, sneak into the party and go and grab a, a bodyguard disguise. And the bodyguard disguise is going to be on the balcony, just outside where the telescope is, from the uh, on the backside of where the part the actual auction party is going to be. So once we've grabbed that, we can go and get the laptop dongle because we need to snap Dahlia Magolis' neck while she's checking the laptop after you've uh, sabotaged the auction. So we're just going to go and grab the bodyguard disguise now. Like I said, it's just going to be out here. Now if you get behind him and subdue him from this point, uh, no one will see his body. For peace of mind, you can drag his body in the corner if you want to, but uh, I assure you his body's not going to get found if you just leave it there. So once you've got this bodyguard disguise now, what we need to go and do is uh, go into the attic area because we need to go and get the laptop dongle and it's just going to be on this guard that's just closest to us now. So we're just going to throw a coin in that corner over there. The bodyguard that we need to get the dongle off, he is going to inspect the noise and we're just going to subdue him, put him in the nearby crate and then grab the dongle that he drops on the floor. I'm not completely sure why he has it on him. Like, what's he got to do with the bodyguard to have the, uh, the laptop dongle on him? I don't understand, but uh, that's how it is in promo now these days. So once we've grabbed that laptop dongle, we need to go over to the room itself. Now, Dahlia's assistant, she can see through your disguise, so make sure you throw a coin in that corner over there. Just to get it to turn around. And once she does turn around, we can head into the room, check the laptop and sabotage it with the dongle that we picked up earlier. Now at this point, all we got to do now is just wait for Dahlia to actually go into that room. She's going to be in this room, and she's going to take a while, you know. She does take a couple of minutes of real time, so... Uh, <laughs> what we actually decided to do is just wait into the main auction area, because what we need to do is... She's going to come into the room, check the laptop, and that's when we're going to subdue her and snap her neck. But she has a little uh, an assistant that walks around with her. She's not, he's not a bodyguard, but he's just a... I don't know, it's one of those people that follow people around like a puppy but uh, we need to stop him from coming in otherwise you will get detected uh, when he uh, when you actually snap her neck so, which is kind of annoying so you're gonna have to bump into him for a couple of times and then that's when we're gonna you know drop a coin to try and stop him from coming in the room I'll explain it when we get to there but I'm gonna skip to the point where they're actually coming into the room so now they're actually gonna be on their way there in just a few moments time let her go ahead, and then what we need to do is just bump into the uh, the guy that's following her, and then just drop, uh, walk a few more steps, bump into him again, and then drop the coin. Hey, you're, uh, you're not just gonna leave that you should there, get. We were just waiting for the question marks to go above his head, so just walk, dro keep dropping coins until that what? question mark appears. There uh, you go. So it gives us plenty of time to go in here, and uh, like once she starts typing away on the laptop, to we're gonna subdue her, and then we're gonna snap her neck on the floor after we've subdued her. Well done, so once you've done that, we can to go after Novikov right now. So we're just going to go down here and slide down the pipe. 
It'd be the fastest way down. We need to go and talk to Max Decker and we need to escort him to the pavilion so uh, they can have a little conversation and then we're going to push Novikov in the in the, the Seine River. I think it's called the it's called the Seine River, I think it's called in France. We're just going to hold close to that wolf to avoid the cameras, but it doesn't really matter if you get spotted by the cameras at this point. It doesn't matter. Like I said, you don't need to achieve Son Assassin to uh, worry about these challenges at all. So like, like I said, the only time you need to worry about the cameras is when you're in a trespassing area. They'll act like an enforcer, like a wood for a guard. So if they spotted you, you know, you'd have a target lockdown, you'd have an alert phase, and all that kind of stuff. So that's when it's that's the only time when it's bad news for comes to professional mode. And the only times you really need to worry about them is when you go for silent assassins. But obviously we're not worried about that. We're just trying to get these two challenges out of the way. So what we need to do is just stay relatively close to these two people in the corner. Max Decker is going to make a phone call to Novikov. He's going to get informed that he's going to have a bodyguard escort him to the pavilion. And just so happens that we have a bodyguard disguise. So we're just going to escort him to the pavilion. And uh, we're going to take care of the assassination itself. This all can take a little while, um, but that's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, he does take a long time to follow you. When you're actually trying to lead him there as well, he, he does tend to trail behind. He can't even keep up with you when you're just trying to... Well, you're walking, and he's running, and he still can't keep up, which is really, really annoying sometimes. But it's got to be patient, and uh, make sure you don't get too far ahead of him, because he will end up running away <laughs> if, if you don't stay relatively close to him. So once he's finished his conversation and all that kind of stuff, we're just going to talk to him, and that's when we're going to lead him to the actual pavilion itself. Thank you. Lead the way. So remember, just walk, walk straight there, but uh, don't get too far ahead, otherwise he will stop and just turn around. So once you get here, all we're going to do is just use the blend option that's just on here. You'll see it just there. And then uh, we're going to wait for the whole uh, meeting to play out. And then Novikov is going to well, walk to the uh, by the river. And that's when we're going to go ahead and push him in. This can all take a while, like I said. So that's why, for the benefit of the video, I'm skipping all these parts. Max Decker is going to uh, talk to Novikov. Novikov is going to come and they're going to have a meeting. So that's what's going to happen. Mr. Novikov. So after the meeting's over, after a, a, you know, quite a while, a couple of minutes or so, he's going to send his bodyguards away. Watch out for all the people with white dots because they are enforcers. Novikov himself is an enforcer as well, that's when we're going to slowly walk up to him, wait for him to lean over like the, the railing like that, and that's when we're going to push him. And uh, that will complete the insane challenge once you have completed the, the mission itself. Because now we've killed Dalia Magolis and Victor Novikov, we can head straight to the exit. I'm going to take the helicopter exit. And uh, to get there faster, we're just going to jump over this wall. Again, you got spotted by the camera. But like I said, the Silent Assassin is not important when it comes to completing these challenges. So you don't need to worry about those. Don't try and panic yourself and worry about yourself about those uh, cameras being spotted. But all we got to do, head straight to the exit here. And then uh, we've completed the mission. And you'll unlock the, uh, the Insane Challenge and the... Uh, permanent break challenge as well and you'll get the rewards that come with it so that's going to do it for this video so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like and subscribe here if you are new to the channel and uh, for the full playlist check the description i'll see you in the next video cheers